Hey, it's Alofa Lava. Let's go, Dr. John Peterson here with T2 Edge Sports Cards. Hope everybody's doing well and staying warm out there. It's pretty cold, pretty cold, I tell you. So tonight I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, uh, some cards that I got graded by CSG Certified Sports Guarantee. Uh, I've got four back in a box here today. So I wanted to unbox these for you all and let you know what I got for grades. I know what I have for the grades. So it'll be interesting to see what you think about what I ended up with. Um, but I definitely wanted to uh, encourage you all to check out TE2 um, and the website that we have for the business. Uh, it's got some sports cards, got some uh, products, uh, not only singles, graded singles, but also a couple boxes and uh, actually a set of uh, baseball cards that I got yesterday uh, from the Negro League Legends. So check that out if you get a chance. Um, and also, too, uh, TET provides consulting services, cultural competency trainings, uh, small business development trainings, especially for uh, minority-owned business owners and or uh, folks who um, just need a little support uh, to get their businesses started. So anyway, I uh, wanted to focus on uh, this tonight, but also say that I uh, really appreciate you checking in. Hit the like or the subscribe button, and uh, definitely check out the TE2 website, you know. One of the missions of TE2 is to support uh, equity, equity within all things, and equality within all things. And so when we think about equity, we're thinking about equity as it pertains to gender, race, class, language, sexual orientation, and we definitely want TE2 to be a space where uh, just and fair inclusion is just the norm. That's how we run business. And so uh, if you're down for that, definitely check us out, and uh, hopefully down the road we'll have a shop where you can come and hang out and we can enjoy some time together, maybe even a coffee while we look at some cards. So without any further ado, I'm gonna open up this box. Let's see here, I've got it right here. So you're gonna to have to just bear with me while I... Yeah, it's pretty... Got it packaged up pretty darn well here. CSG always does a nice job with packaging their stuff, I feel like. Now, I got the, uh, the high resolution images about a week ago, so I've been kind of waiting for this. I wasn't really satisfied with um, the quality of the images that I got back originally, so I did send an email to CSG. And uh, I have a person that I work with, um, you know, when I just you know, have questions and stuff. And she was really good to work with. She uh, got me set up with the right person, with CSG, and the new images showed up. You know, the big thing about selling cards online, especially singles, is that you have to have some level of brand consistency. Otherwise, the cards look... Um, they don't look, and, and the aesthetic of, of uh, looking at them doesn't look as good as it can be. And so I think it's really important to have the images all be high quality, and um, the images all look consistent. So I got those new images today and updated them on the TE2 website. So again, you can see that the CSG stuff comes in cardboard separated container Check this out. so I had four cards graded these were all vintage cards um, didn't have any newer modern cards graded so I'm gonna put this stuff away here yeah so I appreciate folks checking out the checking out the program this is episode number 10 so we've had a number of episodes here um, and just looking forward to continuing to build our our uh, base of uh, subscribers and people that like the program and hopefully this is something that you can uh, enjoy also too on the website what we're going to be doing is um, some live breaks but we'll do those on a scheduled basis so that you know when uh, know when we're going live and uh, you can tune in live uh, that way so we'll probably do one or two a week depending on how much inventory comes in and, and uh, you know how busy we get all right, so the first card I want to show you all, this is probably the biggest disappointment of any of the cards that I turned in, um, but it's a 1954 George Kell Bowman card. 
All right. Now, George Kell is a Hall of Famer. Great hitter. Um, loved this card. Found it for, oh boy, I might have bought this card for like 6 $7 at a shop. Um, it's in great shape, but I think the reason why it got such a low grade of 2.5 is because of some card loss on the back of the card. Um, which I didn't really, I didn't really pick up the first time um, that I saw this. So, but it does look like there was, yeah. When you, when you look on the back and you put it in kind of the light, you can see that there's. It was like almost like there was an adhesive on the back of the card. I didn't realize that when I sent it in. I guess I didn't check it as closely as I should have. But um, otherwise, the card's in great shape. Uh, centering, they gave an 8, which is pretty good for these 54 Bowmans. These are hard to find centered. Corners were a 7, which I thought the corners were at least an 8. I didn't think they were quite a 7. Edges 6.5, and the surface was a 2. So you can see that George Kell got a 2.5. Now with CSG, you only get a half point up above the lowest grade, the lowest subgrade. So um, unfortunately, this is a 2.5. <laughs> So probably not worth getting graded at this point, but it's okay. No worries. Uh, next card. Let's go with this one. So this is a 1956 Tops Harmon Killebrew. Try and get the glint out of there. See if I can get it bent the right way. There we go. Um, yeah, so this is a great card. Uh, he's with the Washington Senators. Harmon Killebrew, obviously one of the greatest home run hitters in the history of Major League Baseball. Uh, played... For the Senators, and then um, I think the entire his entire career was with the Twins, other than the time that he had with the Senators. Also picked this up at a local card shop. I uh, got to give props and a shout out to Ultimate Collectibles uh, up in Hopkins, Minnesota. Um, Jesse sold this card to me. Uh, Shane is the is the owner of Ultimate Collectibles, but I worked primarily with Jesse to pick this up. I don't remember exactly what I paid for this, but I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Ultimate Collectibles is a is a good a good group of folks to work with and they always they always treat me right so I've really enjoyed working with them over the years but this one um, centering was a seven I don't know if you can see that oh, there we go I, mean, I gotta figure out how to turn this okay there we go centering was a seven uh, corners 7.5 edges 8 surface 5.5 so got a six I was hoping for a seven with this um, I didn't realize the surface again was going to be an issue. I'm wondering if there isn't something going on in the back. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't immediately see something on the front. Yeah, who knows? Tough to say. But anyway, Harmon Killer Brew, 1956. I'll put this up on the website for sale for anybody that might be interested in it. Um, on the website, you can find all the graded cards that I've got. I've got one box, um, I've got uh, the Negro League Legends set, um, what else is on there? Oh, I picked up a couple cases the other day that I'm going to put those cases on the on the uh, business website, the TE2 Edge Sports Cards website as well. Yeah, so you can check those out. You know, being that I have these sold, or selling, not sold, but selling on my own website, I don't have to pay the 125 to 13% eBay fee which is um, huge. So I can lower the prices a little bit and not have to worry about paying that fee. Um, I still have to pay the credit card fee, which typically is 2.9%, but since I use GoDaddy, they've got their own uh, system. So I think I'm getting that for like about 2.3%. Um, and then of course, state taxes. And here in Hennepin County, the state taxes are 7525 so make sure that on all all uh, items that I sell, um, uh, that I that I pay taxes on those. Now some of these cards, for example, this one, the Killebrew, and the Kel, I bought with sales tax exempt. Okay, which means that there's a form um, that the state provides, which you can give to card shop owners, dealers, and stuff that um, allows you to not have to pay sales tax. The caveat to that is that you have to hold back the sales tax when you sell the card, all right, you get the money, you have to hold back 7.525% in my case, right? So if I sold this Harmon Killebrew 
for a hundred dollars I'd have to hold back seven dollars and about fifty two and a half cents seven dollars and fifty three cents and then I'd have to give that to the state of Minnesota as sales tax at the end of the tax year at the end of the fiscal year and so you got to make sure you're paying your taxes they can't charge you sales tax twice but they absolutely charge once and so you want to make sure you stay in the good graces of the tax tax folks out there now these other two cards I did not uh, pick up uh, recently uh, through sales tax exempt I've had these cards for quite a long time so the first card that I want to show you is a 1954 Jackie Robinson all right this is this is one of my favorite cards and uh, I'm gonna have to think about whether or not I want to put her on the website um, it's not worth tons but it's Jackie Robinson I mean the first black African-American uh, player in the history of the major leagues broke the color color barrier in 1947 or 48 I think it was 47 um, his number uh, 42 is the only number that is retired in every single baseball stadium in the major leagues which I think is really cool so whenever you go to a stadium you always see the number 42 somewhere out on the outfield wall or uh, in the stands um, I did pretty good on this I mean you can see the cut isn't great Let's see if I can get this the right way yeah it's just it's just it's it's miscut on the one side or I mean off-center maybe even miscut I'm kind of fortunate they didn't give it a an OC grade like PSA does uh, five on centering uh, 4.5 on corners five on edges and then again 2.5 on surface you know it's just it's so tough with these older cards to get every subgrade um, you know in a good spot I mean I think a three is fair I think a three is fair. I'm not. I'm not upset with this. Um, definitely love this card though, and probably has more uh, sentimental value to me than what I could get for it in terms of money. But I'll, I'll put it up for sale on the website anyway, on the TE2 Edge Sports Cards website. So this card, this is for a long time been one of my favorite cards and maybe one of my best cards. This is a 1955 tops. There we go. 1955 tops Sandy Koufax what a cool card now this card is his rookie card all right and uh, I picked this up I think it was in like 1990 or 91 that summer we went on our family uh, a little bit of a baseball tour and we went to Detroit Mich Michigan and we had a chance to see the Tigers play in old Tiger Stadium and before the game, um, I took up the money that I had saved. I took the money that I had saved from uh, mowing lawns and um, brought in a couple different cards and ended up trading with a guy who ran a baseball shop just outside of the Tiger Stadium. I uh, traded for this Sandy Koufax card. And I remember at the time being just so excited to have this card. I mean, I can't even tell you. Uh, it still brings a smile to my face today. So yeah, I uh, got a very good uh, three from CSG, which again, I think is fair. This card is in kind of in tough shape. I mean, if you look real close, you can see the corners are Ooh, not great. They look worse than they did when I first got it, I guess. But uh, the centering is a five. The corners are a 2.5. Edges are a 4.5. And then the corners are, or the surface is a three. So I ended up getting a three because the corners were a 2.5. So yeah, but that's the Koufax rookie card. Now, if you've got this card in like say a five or a six or a seven or an eight, boy, you're sitting on quite a bit of cash because this is a really high, de highly desired card. Yeah, and I've been using Card Ladder lately and the card's been going up in value. Um, the higher graded stuff has been, so. All right, so to recap, recent grading, Got the 54 Bowman Kell, 2.5. Unfortunate card loss on the back. Looks like it was taped to something. Unfortunately, I didn't catch that right away. Got the 56 Harmon Killebrew. Got a six on that, which is pretty sweet. It's a nice card. Got the 54 Robinson. Okay, love that photo of him jumping up in the air and throwing the ball. He's an amazing athlete, football player, track star, uh, baseball player, 
I went to UCLA. Um, just an amazing person, amazing athlete, and every reason for him to be um, revered as one of the greatest ball players of all time, for sure. And then last but not least, the Colfax rookie, 1955 tops, uh, Brooklyn Dodgers, and I uh, got a three on that one, but I thought that was pretty generous considering the corners were in such tough shape. I think they could have given me a two, actually, so I'm thankful to have gotten a three. So what are these cards worth? Well, what are they going to sell for? I don't know. You'll have to find out. Check out the TE2 website. It's at www.com te2consulting.com that's www.te2consulting.com definitely check out the products and the services that we've got available to folks there um yeah and just want to say thank you again hit the subscribe button hit the like button and um yeah keep it positive and on the on the positive step take care peace out one love